Take me. All these stuff that these kids are doing in the board now that's been done years ago, like, boom. She's obsolete. It's no more discussion. Rockstar, no, never ever that. I have receipts. I'm not trying to be nobody's motherfucking friend. Everything I have is cash. She gave me all that free promotion, and she's still a punk. I don't have to pull no stunts. I'm not one of them stunt queens. It's not going to get on my knees and hum on nobody's nuts to get my record played. I just point, they pick it up, they swipe, and it's a done deal. Now step out and camera stop playing. Very Anyways, continue. She had Biggie, and I thought Miss Kim was the beautifulest girl back in the day. But now she's done so much. It's like I don't respect that because I didn't feel that she needed that. And I feel that people need to start respecting the real, you know. And it's like I, I'm not from her city, and I don't listen to her music because it's just we're north. She's from the north, and I'm from the south, so she's not in my backyard, and I don't know her personally. And people try to feel like I attack people just to attack people, but it's like I don't, I don't just attack people. You know, this is stuff that's really going on. Here. So I don't know Kim personally, you know, I don't know anything about her, but just the whole change, the whole face job, job, lip job, oh, oh, oh. you know, I thought she was pretty, nah, she got the way that she was. She got the nose fix, yeah. I don't know, but even now her lip looks like, it, 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 it looks like, um, <laughs> I don't know. It looks, I don't, she looks like Joan Rivers or somebody. I don't know. I thought she was so cute. I thought she was so cute before. I, I liked think, it, the original little Kim. So now, I don't know who she is anymore. So it's like, I just say love yourself because I think that the industry changes them and they get those drag queens. And I love my queens. Trust me, I have. I know. I know. Trust gay. me. I'm, I am gay. Everybody's I like, I mean, so not just in, in, in those times, I don't like girls, but yeah. it's like, everybody's like, oh, she has to be a drag queen because that bitch is not. I mean, she steps into their ass. But it's like, they just go too far. Well, they just let them do any, anything to them and they need to simmer that out. Because I think as a whole with female rap, I think it's dead. I think it's completely dead. I don't... Even if you come back strong. And they're dead. They killed it because everybody's looking at them like they're jokes. We don't know who you are today. Who are you? I don't think it's any talent. I just don't think it's any talent. And when the guys don't want to write for them anymore, their careers are over. And they have to take a seat and sit back. Who do you think are the talented ones? Who do you think are the talented ones? Could you have to change? I love Queen Latifah, MC Light. You know, but just the new people, yeah, you like I don't the have a favorite girl. one because nobody is real. Everybody sounds like whoever's writing or whoever the producer is. Really, we want to hear the record because it's a hot producer on it. You got Scott Storch you got Swift Beat, Tambourine. I mean, come on, you're not looking at them like, okay, I like her style, I like her attitude. It's none of that. You're, you're liking her picture that she took when, they, when she had the team of photographers, and you like the producer who produced the beat because other than that, I mean, who is the writer? We, we don't need, you're not even the artist. It's, we need to, we need to respect whoever wrote that. It's like, so who can I say that I like right now? Like, Kaya, you serious right now? You real serious. So what's good with you and Trina? Like, I never knew y'all had a beef. As far as I know, my girl Trina, because I'm a Trina fan, Trina does not beef with people. Trina does not do all of that. So I just find that you always try and go in at Trina because it's a thing to do. And I don't get that. So I don't like... You know what? It's, not, it's, it's boo. Thank her for all the promotion. Because it's like, it's never been any beef. Everybody wanted to mix the beef with me just be keeping it real. And everybody knows I'm going to keep it real. And just when the Queen of the South thing popped off, you know, she had so much to say about why she was the Queen of the South because I got big money videos, I got big money producers, and I got this and I got that. And it was like, that was not the point. You know, she she took she took my opinion as hating and, as, and, and made it seem like it was beef, but it was just like, I'm not a fan of yours. You don't write your music, you don't produce your music. I write my music, I produce my music. And that's why I feel that I'm the Queen of the South. I'm independent. There's no other female being out independently and have had success. And it's like, Bitch, if you want to hate because I say that, because I'm telling the truth, that's fine. She put the disc record out first, so of course I responded for the streets, and I hit her up to hit her up this. And it's like, after that, it's no more. Everybody knows that I'm better than Trina, so it's like, she's obsolete. It's no more discussion, because it, I, you can't keep saying the same things over and over and over. Everybody knows I'm not a fan of Trina, you know, so it's like, come on, it's not beef, it's the truth. You, you sleep around, you do a lot of stuff off the chain out here in the industry, and I feel that it makes it bad for people like me, independently, that's coming in with straight 
talent and is not going to get on my knees and, 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 and hum on nobody's nuts to get my rec record played or, or to, to make it. You know, so I can feel she makes real artists look bad. And it's a lot of artists that are, are dressed up pretty and they've dressed the part and you get popped up and dressed up and they face painted on and they think that they're superstars. And it's like, girl, stop it. You are a high whore that, that people <laughs> write for and produce for and put you up and make you stand there and rap something off the piece of paper you just read. You know, me writing and creating my own music, I don't respect you because it's real artists out here that need to be being promoted, not whores that sleep around. So she didn't like it, but it's the truth. Well, because I heard her on BET last week or the week before. With all that free promotion. Yeah, and she was talking about She gave she me all that free promotion and she's still a punk. She has so much to say that she didn't say my name. I said what I said, I meant what I said. You know I know what you do out here in the industry. We're from the same city and state. So it's like, come on. Thank you for the promotion, Trina, because everybody's like, did you hear her? She looked scared to death up there. <laughs> Your blog's like they need to do it. Like you gotta do it. We need this. You gotta do it. Like girl, get, get love yourself. Get a mind of your own, please. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and be a hater. You sold five hundred and sixty five thousand on your own. So that's a big achievement being independent. And I find at times maybe because of your personality. Yes, and not only that, and they still want me to crawl. And it's like no, because I'm still myself, and I'm not gonna change, and I'm still me, and I love being me, and I'm not gonna conform to you guys. Roots and standards of what beauty and talent is. Fuck that. Um, what happened with Wendy? Because Wendy, that drag queen. You know what? Wendy just thinks she can say anything out her goddamn mouth, and her life is so fucked up. I felt like she needed to get a reality check. How did it all start? Like, how did that beat pop off? Because well, they called and told me. You know, everybody go call and let me know what what was being said on the radio and in the magazines. And said that Wendy was like, my breasts look like I fed all Africa. And that's all I needed to tell in her ass. Really? That's all I needed to tell in her ass. Was like, oh, Kai is back. You know the girl that has the breasts that looks like they fed all of Africa? She's back with the new album. I'm like, okay, bitch. I'm finna roast you because what? What, bitch? Well, her breasts are so I just roasted her because everybody thinks Wendy can't be touched. And see, that's the problem. A lot of people think that these radio personality bitches can't be touched. And it's like, fuck you bitches. I don't give a damn if you don't never play my record. If you say something about me, I'm a chance. You should be able to keep your business and still play a bitch shit. If not, oh well. The fans are still going to go and support, buy it, burn it, rip it, or whatever. I don't give a damn. I'm not going to hold my tongue just because you work for the radio station and you try to blackball a bitch by saying, if she said something, I'm not going to play her record. Stop. Nakaya, what was your ex doing on the Stop Supreme? Were all them amateur flops? Aren't you established? I had to. It was promotion. It was great. It turned out great because right now the album is coming out and everybody's talking. And, and, and they wouldn't have been buzzing. The streets would not have been buzzing if I didn't. So I looked at it as a marketing and, and, and just a marketing tool to get my face out there again because, like I said again, being independent, I don't, I don't have the videos in the radio uh, uh, machine. So I have to do things to keep the visual going and, it, and now everybody's just like Kaya 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 she is Miss Rapper Supreme and cool. who are those because it was all about Kaya after you left I didn't watch the show because you <laughs> left too early they was hating on you they did not want to see you win they did not want to see they you not. win they did not they did not some of some, the judges on down but that, that just, let, just let me know I was better than them and I did it it was a perfect exit because they look like clowns what happened in Detroit because I was on your blog <laughs> oh my I'm hating bitches because in Detroit I was on your blog I went to Detroit and it was the Titan. You know, radio can't take me too much. And they try, you know, radio DJs and the delicious, she, they had her on the radio station. But again, oh, radio stations like to boost up drama. Yeah, and it's like when you check true. them, they want to hate and pull your record and say, well, we're not going to play any kind of music. And a lot of the fans need to know, that's why you don't hear me on the radio. That's why you don't see me on DET and MTV because them bitches get emotional and start hating and don't play my shit. Because, like, I heard late. You're late. Like, bitch, who are you? You ain't Oprah? Like, I'm like, okay, I never heard of her before, but she's like, you're late. And it was just yes. back to back, like, bam, 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 like this, that, that. I'm like, give her a chance. She like, was funny trying to come for me. She was trying to come for me, but I wasn't going to let her. She really did try you. But I mean, you kept it cute, you kept it classy. <laughs> you don't want to keep it cute her. because the bottom line when you on radio is for promotion. I don't give a damn about none of that. What you talking about, girl? She needs to get drugged. Yeah. When I killed her, I ki the queen. Uh, I killed her so much she couldn't even take me. 
Yeah. I just took over her whole show. Now you lashed out on Janet Jackson recently, claiming that she did you mad guy. That was boring me. Everybody was like, how she gonna dance in? And it was like, no, that bitch act like she was a fan. And then she cut me off the video. And I was like, that was evil. Because when I filmed the video, it didn't look like that. How did it start? Like, did she call you? Did you call her? Well, she, well, JD called. I, uh, JD did some production for me for my first album, so he called and was like, "Jenna wants you to get on the song that's uh, that's going to be a single for her uh, for her new album." So I'm like, "Okay, cool." You know, I'm there. Flew to LA, got there. Jenna was there. I didn't even think she was going to be in the studio. I thought JD was going to just let me listen to the track and write something to it and just, you know. But she was there. We recorded together. She was like, "Oh, she loves my neck, my back." Um, she was a fan of the song. She talked about how the gay community was seeing and and. and that everybody just loved me, that how they performed the song in the show. I mean, this act like everything was all cool. So I was like, cool. Wrote the, heard the song, she loved it. They said it was going to be the single. Number one, they tried me because they told me that it was going to be the single, and then they put the Nelly single out first. And because Nelly, like I said, because Nelly had a big label and I was independent, I said, okay, well, fine. They put the call on me single out. I feel like so excited that if it would have been first, it would have been even more. And call on me should have been second I because agree. it was just a floor I, I, song. Yeah. Yeah. And she did, and they hated on me being independent. Oh, girl, that's fine. Go get She let Nelly get in the video, show his face. So when it got time for the video shoot, she called me. Okay, you got to be here. Da -da -da -da. Flew out again, went and shot the video. The video was lovely. But she wanted to put all those dance routines, them thrill routines in the video, and cut the queen out. And my whole thing was, if you weren't a fan and you didn't want to try to help me being an independent artist, don't call me to get on your on your album. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't really do features because if I don't respect you as an artist and I don't want to promote with you, why would I get you to do a song with me? So it was like, I felt like that was just wrong. I felt like she just used me, felt like I would make the song hot. She didn't really like me as an artist or respect me. It was like, Kaya, I know she's, she's off the chain with my neck, my back. Let's get her, you know, to get on the song. But she's not getting in the video. This is going to just be all me. Like, you keep saying it's hate, it's this, it's that. Do you think it was hate? Everybody like, knows it was hate because if she could put Nelly on the video, she put Busta Rhymes on the video. The only people that would ever did songs with her was Nelly, me, Busta Rhymes, and her brother. Everybody else got in the video but me. The bitch was intimidated. I don't care what nobody says. And she cut me out the video. Enough about her because... It's fine, it's fine. I'm but still album, but that's what she did. And it's like, it's not hate. That's what she did. And the fans wanted to see me. Her or Madonna? Huh? <laughs> you not a Madonna fan? Oh, 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 I didn't hear what you said. That's why I said I didn't hear you. I love Madonna. Exactly. I need to do a song with Madonna. That's what I was about to say. Do you know what a Kaya and Madonna song will do? Kill the charts. <laughs> Oh, eight, it's my year. I know that's right. 
Kaya, thank you so much. I know you're real busy. You gotta shoot. Pop yes, off. well, thank you too. So I'm gonna let you go back and grind. And yes, well, make sure you check on the shows too. So um, if you know any clubs, even if you just know the venue name, we gotta get to Canada. Yeah, you, you have got to come here because it will be a problem because you got a large family. Yes, we need to do a party together, baby. We need to do a party. Gay that's clubs, straight clubs, yeah. we need to do it. That's right. I know that's right. Well, Kaya, thank you so much. It was a pleasure. I love the music. Keep it up. Keep yes, it I'll see you soon. All right. Bye bye. Okay, there you have it. Miss Kaya Thug Misses is on the phone. You know what? You know what? Oh, I hate this. I really do because I really wanted to give it to her. I really wanted to give it to her. And oh my God, I'm so mad at myself. But I'm not mad at myself because I like her now. I like her, but I'm a Trina fan, but I like her. She did her thing. I really like her, and I can respect her grind, and I can respect... Oh, you know what? Okay. Rockstar Radio, I gotta go. Protégé gotta go. I'm a Kyle fan. I'm a Kyle fan. I'm gonna keep...